Hello everyone, Gordon here and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna see how to install Linux on a Microsoft Surface device. Specifically here we have a Microsoft Surface Pro 4, but this will work on all the devices that I list on screen. In this guide we're gonna see how to take advantage of almost all uh, the Surface features. One thing that won't work out of the box, at least on most models, is uh, the cameras. But there is a method to get them working, although they don't look as good as they do on Windows. The first thing that we're gonna need is an installation media. For this guide I've chosen Nobara Linux, which claims to have out of the box support to Microsoft Surface devices by integrating to some extent the Surface kernel. That is something that I think we're gonna have to install anyway to get all of the features working. You can try other distros but I'm not sure how well they're gonna work. A distro that, that I had tried months ago was Pop OS, a Linux distribution based on uh, Ubuntu that worked uh, very well with the Surface kernel. So without any further ado, let's get over to our computer. Here we are on our computer. Now let's open our browser and download our distribution of choice. I'm gonna download Nobara Linux. Here you can choose various versions of Nobara. I'm gonna choose Gnome but you can choose uh, the official versions that is uh, still GNOME but uh, with extensions that uh, make it more like uh, KDE and Windows or you can choose uh, the KDE release Now let's flash a USB drive. To do this we will need a program called Balina Etcher. It's a program that is available not only on Linux but also on Windows and Mac OS. So just download it. Now plug in uh, your computer uh, your USB drive, open Balina Etcher, select uh, the ISO file, then select your target device. Here make sure that you select the correct device because it's gonna wipe it completely and then click on flash. Now that it's done, we can unplug our USB drive and move over to our Surface device. Now all we've got to do is to insert the USB drive into the device and you need to press both the power button and volume up button and hold them for a few seconds. This will boot you into the BIOS and then we go into boot configuration. Here swipe on USB storage and it should boot into the installation. Select test this drive and start Nobara 38. This will make sure that the ISO isn't corrupted. All right, uh, it has finished and uh, everything's alright. So let's proceed. Now it will boot into the live uh, environment. Here we are in the live environment and uh, let's see if the touch can work. It does seem to work to some capacity, but uh, not really. Anyway, let's proceed with the installation of uh, Nobara Linux. Here click on Install System. 
All right, the installer finally launched. For some reason, I had uh, to reboot. So, if for some reason, the installer doesn't want to launch, just reboot and boot back into the USB drive. The system is not connected to the internet. Let's uh, connect it to Wi Fi real quick. Now let's select a language of choice, obviously you select your own language, I'm gonna select uh, Italian. Here uh, let's select uh, wipe disk. So it, uh, this uh, obviously will replace the operating system that is currently installed. For instance, if you have uh, Windows installed, obviously after this you will have Linux. I feel like that's obvious. Here, uh, let's give it a swap. The swap should be fairly important because some applications do require it. So I do recommend leaving this uh, default. So here, uh, erase disk, select uh, the correct disk, obviously here we have only one disk and uh, let's proceed with the installation and uh, here it will proceed with the installation see you in a minute And here we have it. It uh, installed Nubara Linux and now we can restart. Something uh, that uh, I forgot earlier is that obviously you can always dual boot, but apparently when Windows updates it can break uh, the Linux installation or something. So I guess keep that in mind if you dual boot. Now let's uh, restart. Continue boot and uh, here we have it. Select the first option and soon which we should be in the operating system. Here we are, now let's see if the touchscreen works, and it actually does, <laughs> we may not actually, we may not even need to install the surface kernel, I think uh, that here uh, everything's included. Everything seems to be working perfectly. A stark contrast to months ago when I first installed Linux here and it was a pain in the ass <laughs> to, <laughs> to get touchscreen to work. <laughs> now we have a distro that just worked out of the box. I thought that I, I would have to explain how to install the Surface Kernel. I'm gonna do it anyway because obviously any other distro I don't think includes the Surface Kernel uh, automatically. It takes a while to for the touch can to work for some reason. Although now it doesn't seem to be working perfectly. Uh, I think we may need to install the surface kernel anyway. Here the touch screen doesn't seem to work well. 
I think this is due to this specific touchscreen on this unit being somewhat defective. So it could uh, already work out, out of the box for you, but uh, I'm not sure. Now we unfortunately do actually need the surface scanner because as you can see the touch scan doesn't work. It seemed to work well but uh, it, it actually doesn't. If I press too lightly it doesn't work. So let's just go and install the, the surface scanner. I'll configure it later, let's just install the I leave the link uh, in the description. Now we simply have to follow the instructions uh, that are, are listed uh, here. Let's go into the detailed installation and setup guide. Here obviously it will depend on your distribution. Here obviously it says uh, what we, are, we, we have already done. It says to make a bootable USB and install Linux. Now here surface kernel installation. Here uh, are uh, the various uh, routes to follow for uh, the various distribution. Now, uh, Nobara Linux is based on Fedora, so we're gonna follow the Fedora tutorial. Now, we're gonna need to use the terminal, but uh, it's just a copy and paste. And after this, everything should work as intended, hopefully. But considering how much trouble I had when I first installed it, I, I don't know how much I would count on this. I mean... The only distro that worked perfectly with the Surface Kernel was Fedora, just standard Fedora. I hope that Nobara will be the same, but we'll see very soon. Now let's, let's just copy this stuff. Here uh, just give uh, the password. Here it will download the custom kernel. Let's uh, type uh, Y. Here it says S because it's set to Italian. You'll need this if you have Fedora, install uh, also run this command. Like, uh, I mean, default Fedora. Here it says uh, if the default kernel has a higher vers version than the software kernel. And then the surface kernel, it will override the surface kernel and get built by default. You can use the systemd path to unit to fix this. So let's just run these commands too. I mean, it's really easy, just copy and paste. I'm not a Linux expert, so... I think we have to run this too. Now we can reboot and we can only pray that it works well. <laughs> Here obviously we got to select the surface. I know for a fact that it worked flawlessly on standard Fedora. Now let's see. The moment of truth. And sorry guys, I just don't know how to speak. <laughs> My pronunciation is terrible, sorry. <laughs> so let's see. And it works flawlessly, thankfully. <laughs> see, everything works as intended. So I thought that it 
would already have it included, but apparently not. The, the touch can did work somewhat before, but not uh, well. So, as you apparently you do need to install the Surface Care. But once you've done that, see, you can just use this uh, as a tablet. GNOME is uh, pretty good when it comes to touch screens. See, you can do this gesture and navigate. And uh, each auto edit should work too. Now, uh, let me detach the keyboard. And if I do this, see, it rotates just like at any tablet. I do think that this is pretty cool. <laughs> so if you want to break free from Windows and uh, wanna use uh, open source software, you can see, you can just install Linux and it works uh, really well, I'd say. The cameras, I don't think work out of the box. In fact, it doesn't. Uh, you do need, uh, if you want the cameras, you're gonna need uh, to run additional stuff, uh, let me see. <laughs> As you can see, I, I edited this page, but it is no longer necessary. I should probably resolve this stuff. See, this is what you had to do <laughs> back in February to get everything working well. See, here uh, it says the camera support is still a work in progress, so to get it to work, we gotta do some additional work. I think we gotta install this. See, it says on Fedora, you can just run these commands. Let's see if it does work. Now, I don't think the cameras are um, like essential, but for instance, if you need to video call, that obviously is needed. I don't need to video call or anything, like I don't think they're particularly important on this device, but they could be for someone, obviously. So let's try doing this and let's see if it does work. Last time I had done it, it did work, so let's see. The, although I had tried it on uh, Pop OS, that is uh, an, an uh, Ubuntu based distribution. Uh, so, like, that's it. We only need to run this. This is uh, for an immu immutable variant of Fedora, which uh, this is not. I guess that depending on your distribution, you may need install a lib camera from source. Now I think just for good measure let's reboot and see if the cameras work. Now is the moment of truth. Let's uh, open cheese and let's see if it does, if it does work. And uh, it doesn't really seem to. <laughs> The back camera does work though. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it does work. But why was the front camera not working? I mean, that could be important. <laughs> huh, here we go, it does work. So it was, let's say, as easy as that. And I think uh, that's it. really well I'd say and uh, I'd say that it is an option to consider uh, it is an alternative to consider uh, to Windows especially if you do value open source uh, software I do hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this uh, guide uh, look forward for more uh, videos like this on my channel and uh, I'm done here so see you next time <laughs>